Oh, oh, you guys are here. Okay, so welcome to another episode of the Fuet Couple Cooks. And uh, I'm wearing this t-shirt because you might know uh, this week um, Star Wars is out. So anyways, this is a Christmas week and this is uh, my birthday week. Tomorrow is my birthday, by the way. We are gonna bake one of the most amazing uh, recipes for desserts since I have a sweet tooth and it's called banoffee pie. The reason it's called banoffee pie because it's a combination of the bananas and the toffee. And the way we make toffee is by having this Nestle uh, unsweetened condensed milk. Actually, this one is sweetened uh, because we are not gonna use sugar when we make the crust. But if you use unsweetened, you can use uh, sugar in your crust. So anyways, this is sweetened condensed milk. We are not gonna use any sugar in this recipe. Uh, and we boiled it with the can dipped in the container for, uh, within the water, submerged in the water for roughly two and a half hours. And you just have to make sure that the can is uh, submerged in the water the whole time while it's boiling. Uh, so within two and a half, uh, after two and a half hours, we'll open this and how it looks. This must be the toffee now. Um, rest of the ingredients, let's see. So I have a 9 inch pie here, um, pie plate here that we are going to bake into. I have one stick of butter along with one, this is roughly 16 uh, ounce, so it's like one cup of uh, whipping cream. Uh, three bananas, uh, well ripened. Uh, this is one packet which has eight gram, pep, uh, gram crackers. I'm going to use like two of these. Um, we have a jar in which we are going to throw these. Uh, I have my oven set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to throw the crust inside it for roughly 8 minutes when we are ready. So let's start cooking this amazing recipe. Okay, so... Just for a quick thing, I have uh, melted my butter like for 20 seconds in the microwave before I put into the graham crackers that we have here. So we are going to throw this in here. Okay, so our crust stuff is ready. So we are going to take it out in our uh, pie pan in which we are going to bake it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my hands to make this crust evenly distributed for a good, nice, thick, even pie. So, and by the way guys, I wish you could smell this. It's not even baked yet. Okay, so time for our three ripened bananas while our uh, pie is in the oven for eight minutes. So I'm gonna just mash them bananas, these bananas using the fork. No fancy stuff going on here. Also, I wanna let you guys know that I have opened my can, which as you can see, it's no, no more a sweet uh, condensed milk. It is like a toffee now. And it smells delicious. So I'm gonna just squish them really really nicely okay so this is how I want my bananas to look like when I put it into my pie so this is all good there's still little pieces so I don't want to squish them anymore um, that's it Hakuna Matata needless to say that means goodbye but we are I'm not saying goodbye anyways the pie is out and I just wanted to say those words I remember Timon and Pumba um, so I'm gonna pour this banana And spread it. Spread, 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 spread. By the way, I have let the pie cool for like five to seven minutes. Um, it wasn't that hot though, uh, but still. And once your banana is in there, now you wanna have your caramel. Look at this toffee. Sorry guys, my... Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. Okay, so I have pulled my toffee and tried to spread it all over mixed up with the banana. So now it gives you like a banana caramel toffee flavor all together. 
um, and now I'm gonna let it cool before we uh, proceed to our final step of doing uh, the whipped cream icing over it. Okay. So last stage uh, is having our whipping cream. I have poured all of this inside into this to make the fresh whipped cream icing. So let's get started. Okay, so this is fresh whipped cream. It's very airy, it's very light. Make sure you don't over whip it, but otherwise it start forming like a white butter. So we got this, and let's move up to the next step. So I'm gonna take some of this whipped cream and just form like a, a layer to cover. Okay, so final step. So we have our white icing over here. I have made some turquoise color icing over here and I select whatever uh, design you want to make on your pie and just go with it. 